Hello everyone, today I will show you how you can install Stable Diffusion with ConfUI on your local machine and use it for free. I will also show what type of models, extensions and other necessary files you need to install and where you can find them. So you can change a base image like this to a render like this one. I have also created a custom script for you that you can use to download and install everything you need, all of the custom models, extensions, all the files just with a single click and it will download everything and install for you. This script is available in the video description as well. So let's start. So to install Confuio, first we need to go to GitHub page. The installation of Confuio is not super hard. We just need to download this file from this link. If you click it, it will directly start installing the file. This file we are downloading is a special zip file called 7-zip and in order to extract it we also need to download this 7-zip application and if you click this link you can find it in this website just click this one to download it as, as well and after it's downloaded done you can just double click here to run it say yes and this one is done and once the zip file is downloaded all we need to do is right click and then um, show more option find the 7 zip option and say extract here this will take some time depending on your drive but probably not so long and we have these files we can either use run NVIDIA GPU or run CPU options to start ConfUI. But keep in mind that it will significantly take more time to generate an image on your CPU than on your GPU. So let's just double click this one to run it. And we will have this terminal window op open. This will take time depending on your computer. Once everything is done, you will see this URL address here. And to access Confi window, you need to copy it and then paste it to your browser and just run it. And here is our Confi window. Basically, you can uh, move around by clicking and holding the button key and zoom in, zoom out. If you want to place a note, you can just double click and you will see some of the note options available. Or you can right click, say add note and find the basic note that comes with Confi Let's just create a simple basic text to image workflow. All we need is a case sampler. And then our positive and negative prompts. And one empty latent image, save image node to save our generated image. So basically right now we can write our positive prompt here. Let's say just a building and the negative prompt here. As you may realize, we don't have any checkpoint at the moment because we didn't download any of them. And let's just go and download some of the files. Let's download this realistic vision 5.1 option. There are a couple of options that you can choose from. I will go with the smaller file, save tensor. Instead of clicking just download, I will right click and save link as. So we can directly place it into the correct place. I will go my folder where I downloaded ConfUI, which is right now inside this file. And then ConfUI. We need to find the models folder, this one. And in this one, uh, we have a bunch of folders that we can place different type of models. For example, uh, for checkpoints, this one, if, if we are using any control net, we need to place them in this folder. Or if you want to download any LoRa's in this part, right now we are downloading a checkpoint. So just let's go into checkpoint and download here. And once it is done, um, we can come back to our ConfUI window and after you download any models, all we need to do is click this refresh button on the menu and our new model will appear in this part. So let's just choose it to create an image. 
let's hit Q prompt and I forgot to connect VIA here okay let's Q prompt and as you can see this green border ap appears on one of the nodes it means it is loading that node currently and we are generating our image and we have our first image here and in the terminal you can see all the process happening so what happened which which uh, node is activated at the moment how long it took to generate an image if, if we generate another one and come back to terminal you can see got prompt means a new generation started and you can see the bar is moving and it take around six seconds seven seconds to generate the image and here it is this is of course the most basic workflow in confi ui which is just text to image um, with a simple prompt and to be able to use all the functionalities of stable diffusion with confi ui we need to install many more things like control net custom extensions for different functionalities within confi ui and different type of checkpoints for example for for excel models this one is one of the nice ones and probably you want to install control net all of the files you can find um if you go this hugging face control net version 1.1 and then go to files and versions we will find all of the control net models for 1.5 for example we want to use the depth control net there are two files as you can see we need this uh, bigger one and right click on this icon to download choose save link as as we did for the checkpoint but instead of right now downloading into the checkpoint folder we need to download it to control net one here and just hit save so if, if you want to use all of these ones we need to do we need to download all of them or as, as a simpler way we can use um, git clone to download everything easily but if you don't have git installed first we need to install the git itself if you come this url you can click this one to install it and once it is done just hit next bunch of time and it will install the git for you This is not necessary to be able to use Confi UI, but it just makes everything easier and let us download different type of extensions and models easily to use them on Confi UI. And hit finish. So right now, instead of downloading all of them one by one like this, we can use this clone repository option and copy this part then we need to go to the folder that we want to install these files which is under config ui models and control net as you can see our dev model installed it is done we need to open the terminal window to run this code so we need to click this part type cmd and hit enter see this terminal window open and just control V to paste the code. It run the first part automatically. Hit enter again to run the second part, which will download the files. If you come back to folder, we, we will see right now we have control at version 1.5 folder created for us. If you go inside, all of the installation started. But uh, don't think that installation is done when you see them like this because these are the smaller files. These are not actually the control models we need. The installation will take some time because all of them are 1.5 GB and there are around 10 models. So just wait until this part is done. Don't close this terminal. But I'm not going to wait right now to download all of them because I already have them installed on my computer. So I will just close this. And if you go our config window. And let's see our control net model downloaded. Again, we install a new model and we need to hit this refresh button. And once we do, we will see our dev model downloaded. 
And one of the best things about Configure is the custom extensions you can download on top of the basic version. But in order to install any of these extensions, first we need to install this Configure Manager extension. And you can go to this GitHub page. Click on this code option and then download it as a zip file and then place it to the custom notes folder or just copy this code and let's go back to our config.ui folder and instead of going to models this time we need to install them under custom notes and let's open the terminal again with cmd we need to type git clone and then ctrl v to paste the link and hit, hit enter and as you can see the installation is done for the manager so we can close this terminal go back to our config.ui if you install any custom nodes this refreshing won't make it work so we need to close it and restart our config.ui completely so let's go back to config.ui file and run nvidia gpu once you install any custom nodes, after you start it, it will take a bit longer to install necessary files. And now we will see this manager button appear in our menu. And if you open it, we have a bunch of options that we can use. For example, you can use install custom nodes to see what kind of nodes there are available and if you want to install any of them you can just click this install button and it will install automatically and then you need to restart the config to be able to use it or you can install a bunch of uh, models directly from this menu and one of the really nice things about config if you have an image you created with config before let's say for this one you can use any of the images created on config.ui as a template. So if you just hold the image and leave it into the config.ui canvas, you will see the directly hold the workflow appeared in, in our canvas with all the same settings. But as you can see, there are some missing extensions that we need to install to be able to use this workflow. So let's go back to manager and we have this install missing custom notes option. If you check, it will show all of the extensions you need to install to be able to use this same workflow as it is. So you can just install them one by one and then restart the config UI. And after that, you will be able to use it. Uh, this is the main idea of how to install and place all the necessary files you want to use. But of course, there are lots of different files you need to install, like different checkpoints for Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion XL or XL Re Refiner and if you want to install any custom LoRa model for different styles for example uh, this one that I train myself or you want to use the IP adapter then you, you need to go to these files and install the models for 1.5 and install the model for X XL models or any upscaler models you want to use all of the custom models and LoRa's control nut models and custom extensions I use I put them together into list and you can find the list in the description of this video and I have also created a custom script for you that you can use to install everything with a single click so you don't need to go find the config.ui github pages go search for the custom checkpoints you want to use or extensions to install on config.ui all you need to do is just install the zip file and then extract it and you will see two files inside and one of them is a simple readme file with all the description and the explanation about the script what it does what you need to be able to use it and one thing to keep in mind that is important is you need to have around 150 gigabyte of disk space in your computer to be able to install everything so let's just run the script it will ask for administrator permission and after that you can follow all the process within this terminal and you don't need to even install git for this it will install the git for you just to make sure everything will work properly you can follow 
how long it will take, what is the time spent, what is the time left. Let's install the kit and then it will start downloading the zip opener, the 7-zip. And after these two inst installations are done, the last thing we need to do for this installation to be done for us is to choose a drive we need to install. Uh, you can either choose your C drive, your D, E, F, and uh, whatever you want to install the config UI. But if you just want to be safe, and probably for most of you, it's, it's gonna be your C drive. So just hit C and enter. So after this point, you don't need to do anything. Uh, no more input is needed. And installation is done. It took around one hour for me to install everything, but of course this will depend on, on your internet speed. And once you reach this part, you can just close this terminal because it is done. I choose my C drive to install. So I will just go C and we have the config folder installed in this part. So if I just run it again as we did previously. We have the config UI back open and if, if we check our installed models. With load checkpoint model we can see all of them installed. And let's check the control net models we downloaded. You can see we have all of them here. And also. I installed some nice LoRa's for architectural markers, sketches, or illustrations. Let's check all the extensions being downloaded. So if you check installed, perfectly fine. Let me load the same template that we did before. And as you can see, we get no error now and all of the models are installed correctly. And after we run this workflow, we get a render like this from the simple base image. And that was it for this video. I hope you liked it and it was helpful for you. You can find all of the resources, the links, the models we use and all the GitHub pages in the video description. Thank you and see you in the next one.